No. Oh, I should probably go up. Yeah, I'll, I'll get up there. Hi, everybody! <laughs> and they know my name now. That's so sweet. You didn't before. Thank you. <laughs> Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. Before you're thinking about pinching or not pinching, just... Okay, good. Well, I, I like hugs, but I was going to do a thing first. You want to I mean, stop me? You can hug me now. And that's After? Uh, really? Do I have to wait? Uh, do you guys do Give me a second, guys. Excuse me. I just really hate the idea of making you wait. For, uh, I feel really bad about that. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Have a seat. Okay. That's, that's fun. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. That's, that's nice. Wait a minute. So now I have a theme and a theme reprise with hugging involved? That's, I love this job. It's the best. <laughs> I just, I come up here and random, I, 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 the spotlights are mine. I'm not even sure who hugged me. It was just a, a wall of arms and awkward butt grabs. It was nice. Thank, thank you, by the way, to you guys over there. I appreciate that. Welcome all. Um, it, it's as weird as it looks. It really is um, an estranged place. And, and, and it's because it's full of performers. Uh, shout if you're a performer. You can see the balance is slightly tilted, which is to say we are all a little askew. Which is because we've been, you, you get the idea. Um, we, this is where performers come together and, and they, they work on their stuff. And we, we, outside of this place we're performing, we're working, the reason it's on a Monday night is this is the night that we either do this or our laundry because the weekend we're working. I, I, I try not to. And I'm sorry about that, by the way. I really am. But... Um, we, we are constantly embroiled in performance, and, and the truth of the matter is we're talking about it all the time, and we're trying to, we're figuring it out, and sometimes it's, it's this, like, state of being in a constant existential crisis when you're, when you're a performer, because you're trying to understand what the hell you're doing up here in front of all these lights and this camera and everything else. It's very scary. It's daunting. And I've said that before, but it, but it is. I was talking to a performer friend of mine a few weeks ago, and um, she, she told me that she was struggling with something, and, and, I, and I asked her, well, what are you struggling with? And she said, that, uh, she said that she feels like sometimes she's really needy. I didn't really understand initially how this applied to performance, but bear with me. She said, I'm, I'm really needy, and I think I want too much. And I said, well, you know, outline what that is, and some of that was personal and not important to the story, but she, she, she gave me a real list. <laughs> That's quite a list, I thought. And I said, well... Are you, are, you getting those, are you getting those met? That seemed like a fair question. Are you getting those met? She said, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Cool. What happens when you do? And she told me that she lights up and the creativity happens and the excitement happens and all the good starts happening. And I thought to myself, why are these people pulling pillows out right now? Really, I'm having like a deep mood. I'm having like a deep moment up here. I'm talking. So was that? Did I had to get out of bed to come here. You got out of bed with her to come here. That is love. That is love. I love you. I love you too. Good heavens! I don't even remember where I was. The show's just gone right off the rails. We're like what? Ten minutes in? It's gone. It's dead. It's doomed. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Need. And when you get it met, boom, magic. Because you know what? Performers are needy. We're screwed up in the head. And I think to myself, creative people are all like this. Every creative person I know, they, they, they just, I've got to have my, my glass of wine by my typewriter. I've, I've, I must have the perfect light. Or, or whatever shenanigan is your particular shenanigan that makes you well. And what happens is, at some point, you, you get filled up and it comes spilling out the top. And that's where the creativity starts. So I, I, she, I thought about this, and, I, and, I, and she said, well, what, what, do you, what do you think? I said, I, I think you do want too much. I think you do. And I think that's okay, and you shouldn't be ashamed of that, and you shouldn't be afraid of that. Well, she said, well, what do I do? Because not everybody loves that. Believe me, that was a thing I understood when she told me that, you know, that's not something everybody loves. I said, well, what I do is I try to live to deserve it. 
That sounds preachy on the surface, but what I'm actually talking about is performance. I get all my crap out of the way, I get filled up, and we make this happen. We make shows happen. We, we, we do things and do work. We go out into the world where, where we learn our skills here, and we take it out in the world, and we manage to, to actually do some good. I do work with kids that are really troubled, scary. I mean, I'm troubled, but these kids are troubled. Like, right now, I'm just getting over it. And from time to time, the things that I get filled up with manage to spell at the top, and I get to help them. I think that's a really good thing and a really valid thing. And I think and if you're sitting there and you're creative, even a little bit, or even if you're one of those people who goes, I'm not, I'm not really creative. I'm not really bull, bull. Everyone has some creativity in them. Everyone has a weird thing that makes them special. Get filled up and then live so you deserve all that stuff you're going to get. Tonight, you're going to see performers that for whatever reason are feeling filled up enough to get up on this stage and they're going to spill it out to you. I ask you for one thing beyond the rules we outlined and it's not something I've ever asked before. If it manages it to land with you, even for a moment, let it fill you up and carry it on and do some good out there with your creativity. Do that for me, but more importantly, do it for them and do it for yourself. Welcome to the open stage. Yeah.